what is up good people you've reached my channel if this is your first time welcome my name is renee and you've reached my channel life with renee and today i put on my social media asking y'all what what look y'all wanted first and y'all chose the perm rise set so y'all chose my look for ladies night out so thank you girl because this was super easy and i love it because it's super cute uh so yeah i am going to start incorporating more beauty videos because you know i love food i love cooking but I also like makeup and hair and anything beauty, you know, being being a girl. You know, it's just so many layers to live on me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to start incorporating more. So if you like videos like this, please make sure you like this video. Um, that lets me know to keep them coming. Uh, if you try it, don't forget to comment. Inbox me on social media. If you're not on my social media, what is you doing? Uh, but yeah, in inbox me on my social media. If you have any questions, comment below. Uh, I love chatting. Um, but like the video. Subscribe, okay? Y'all know I got to be for my subscriptions. And I'm trying to grow. And share, because sharing is caring. So let's go ahead and get to this tutorial, y'all. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm going to start babbling because I'm already late and I'm driving. I, and, and I don't know. I had a I had a little mount in my car. But my husband, every time he get in the car, he want to clean up. But women, us women, like I, my car is, if we know everything yet, okay? So, I'm not going to do this no more. But, yeah. Let's get into this video. Bye. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the products we're going, we're going to be using. So, whenever I do a perm rod set, um, usually it's so it can last okay so i gotta pause it for just a quick second because i am really like cringing editing this video uh the the lighting is horrible i don't like it let me tell you I, this is y'all know i'm not used to doing a beauty video so i gotta get my lighting together but i put those orange ring light things on the ring light and it was horrible and by the time i realized it it's too late like i promised people i would get this video out tomorrow um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload this video just to get my girls through the weekend because I know some people wanted to do their hair for the weekend, but I'm going to redo this video next week and re-upload it, okay? So I'm talking about myself before y'all can talk about me and send and, and share this in y'all group chat and, you know, say, girl, she needs to stay in the kitchen because, you know, my, my, my lighting and everything else been A1, but I've ordered everything I need to order to get my lighting right for my beauty videos, so. Don't come for me. You know, show a little grace because, you know, it's my first, you know, one. Okay. Bye. Let's get back to the video. Bye. It's me at least a week. Uh, I really push for a week and a half, uh, maybe two weeks. Because <laughs> to me, the older that they get, the better they look. Um, so I'm going to go over today. The perm rod sets that I'll be using are the peach ones. Okay. These are the ones that give me the full, the more fuller curls. Um, I also will use the purple ones um, as well. These are very similar in size. So if you have shorter hair and want fuller curls, these will work as well. Now, my more tighter curls, they, they give me Rick James, <laughs> as my friends say, um, are the white ones. And then... I, when my hair was shorter, I used these small peach ones, but now that my hair has grown back out, um, I don't use these anymore because this will make my curl too tight. And when your hair is long and your curls get too tight, it can really like tank, it tangles my hair. And so it makes it, it, defend, it defeats the purpose of me doing a perm rod set because then I'm having to do more work and having to detangle and yeah. It breaks my hair off so I no longer use these but these are gonna give you a really 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 tight curl and I uh, say when my hair was like mm, maybe this length um, I use these when I wanted a tight curl um, or the white ones but like I said today um, I'm going to be using the peach ones you can also mix these two up and maybe if your hair is shorter in the front use these if it's longer in the back use these but I'm just gonna use the peach ones all the way around Okay, so whenever I do a perm rod set, um, number one, what you'll notice about me, like I don't spend a lot on um, hair products. Like I buy good products, but I don't just like spend a lot of money. 
because it really doesn't take that. As long as you take care of your hair and give it attention, like, you'll be fine. So I always, um, depending on the style I use, that's going to depend on what products I use. Um, my hair tends to be, it looks really thick. But a lot of product really weighs my hair down. It can't take a lot of product. Um, so only when I'm doing a perm rod set, I will put, um, I put my black Jamaican castor oil uh, in a bottle with a nozzle on it. And I grease my scalp. Okay. I also will always use something to give my hair a shine. Um, and this is the Pantene Intense Hydrating Oil. Um. And I like using this because it doesn't weigh my hair down. And they have this gold line, like I love it. Like I swear by it. I have this whole line. But when I'm doing the perm rod set, I don't use um, the curly pudding stuff. I use that for like my twist outs. But the uh, Pantene, and I'll list all the products in the description box. But this is the uh, Pantene Gold Series Intense Hydrating Oil. And all of this stuff is easily found at your local beauty supply or even Walmart, okay? Um, also, I use the Shrinkage Defense Curl Activator, um, and that's because I noticed with my when I use this, ever since I started using this, and I don't use a lot, I use very, very little um, in each section of my hair because it, it helps elongate my curls, and also the technique I use to roll my hair helps elongate my curls as well. So, um, also, I use the Moroccan Sleek oil this is what i use for my takedown so i don't use this to roll my hair this is for the takedown so any light oil okay even if you use like coconut oil um just rub it on your hands you just want your hands to be kind of slippery when you're taking your curls down to prevent the freeze now for my mousse uh, and setting lotion i'm weird because I kind of go back and forth. <laughs> I go between Nairobi and the Curl um, Definer. I love this stuff. But this can give you kind of a sticky feel um, using it by itself. So I use both of these together. So uh, yeah, it seems like a lot. But once you see me do it, you'll see that I use very, very little. And I section my hair in four sections. Um, so yeah. And on my hair, I have um, just one of those uh, terry cloth thingies that you can buy from Ross and Marshalls. And after like 15 minutes of being on my hair, it dries my hair to like 75%. I don't roll my hair uh, wet. I roll it damp. So my hair is like mm, anywhere from 70 to 75% dry. Um, so like my roots are basically dry at this point. <laughs> but the rest of my hair is still wet. Um, so I just take my, my Laura shampoo comb and I just comb it out and actually I, uh, my hair does a lot of shedding. Like, although it seems like my hair grows a lot, which my hair grows really fast. So even when I tried to trim my own, uh, ends and that turned out to be a disaster, do not try that at home. You know, I try to learn everything on YouTube, but, uh, yeah, that was an epic fail. I'm going to find that picture and I'm going to put it somewhere right here. But, yeah, that was an epic fail. But my hair grew back really, really well, so no harm done. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, my hair sheds a lot, but it grows really fast. So um, I'm going to just detangle my hair, and then we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm just going to do uh, a voiceover. Uh, for this next part because watching someone roll their hair can get really boring um, and plus I feel like when I do a voiceover it helps me explain it a lot better and I don't want the video to be too long because I know you want to like get to the point all right let's go okay the first thing you want to do is you want to section your hair in three to four sections um, usually if I'm doing smaller rolls I'll do four but these are um, larger so I'm gonna do three sections Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start rolling. I'm going to show you the beginning of me rolling my hair. And then I'm going to skip forward um, to when I do my front. Because I feel like you can see that a lot better. Um, but what I'm doing now is I'm putting 
I'm mixing the foaming lotions and I usually put half of whatever I put of the uh, Nairobi, I put half of the other one. So I put um, four, three pumps of the um, Nairobi foamy lotion. And so I put like one, you know, one and a half or something like that of the other one, the curl defi definer. And then I put just um, a little amount of the cream and I put one squirt, <laughs> one squirt, girl, we can't see that. <laughs> I put one squirt of the um, the oil on my hair and so I just rub that in I make sure I get it all the way down to the roots and then I take my Jamaican castor oil and I put this through my scalp with the nozzle that way my um, scalp is good and moisturized especially since we're getting into the colder months my hair really um, dry can dry out so I want to always make sure I moisturize it. Now when you're using bigger rollers, you do not have to um, do it in small sections. As long as you're allowing your hair the right amount of time to dry, there's no need to put more rollers in your head than you need to because these are not the most comfortable rollers to sleep in, so I wouldn't recommend that. Um, so you'll see that I'm making sure the end of my roller is smooth um, and I'm winding it up and then I take my finger and I wind it going up the roller. So I don't do just a roll, I, I wind it up as you can see. And that's going to help my curls um, be longer because my hair already has a lot of shrinkage and my ends need clip, girl. Look, I can't, I can't clip my own ends. Because last time I tried to clip my ends, let me show y'all what happened. Hold on, let me let me show, let me show y'all. Hold on, hold on. Look at that! Ain't that a hot mess? A hot mess, y'all. My friend talked about me for so long. <laughs> so yeah, don't clip your own ends. YouTube, um, try. I tried to use YouTube and it, it didn't. It was a no go. So I need to get my ends clipped. <laughs> So yeah, you'll see I'm just winding it up and you always want to make sure your ends are nice and smooth. You want to do everything possible um, as far as moisturizing, making sure you roll it smoothly on a roller to make sure um, your curl comes out really nice, bouncy, and um, it doesn't have like frizz. And so I'm out of, out of focus here. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so I'm just winding it up again. And I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. And no matter the size of the roller, this is the technique you want to do. This is going to ensure you have like really bouncy curls, okay? Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and go to the front because the back was getting like really blurry. Um, and plus you can see it a lot better um, seeing how I do the front. So one thing I want to point out, I have not had a perm on my hair in years, and I mean maybe like three to four years. However, um, I straightened my hair for Valentine's Day in February, and when I tell you my curls have not reverted back, like I showed you in that picture when I cut my hair, um, how curly my hair was and I straightened it and so you see now it's just like wavy at the roots and it's like still bone straight at the end so after I do the video of the um the my at home silk press I'm not gonna put any more heat on my hair um so it'll be strictly me probably doing mostly perm rot sets and twist out things like that heatless um heatless styles so if you're interested in that definitely subscribe because it's probably going to be a, a good six months before i put heat on my hair again after i do this uh, at home silk press so as you see i'm um just you know continuing to roll it um i like the nairobi because it like gives my hair so much body it doesn't weigh my hair down um and then the water because it takes me a while to roll my hair <laughs> and if you have more hair than me then it's gonna take you a little more while so you don't want your hair to get dry so I got a um, spray bottle from the beauty supply that does like a mist excuse, excuse me I, I, oh gosh I'm, I'm sorry you know so, I, he just that's Josh <laughs> that is Josh <laughs> all right so um you know, just put your Nairobi and then just 
just put it in there. And these two foams like really balance each other out to me. And I just want y'all to see that I'm only putting like, I don't put a lot of the cream on my hair and I don't put a lot of that oil because I don't want it to weigh my hair down. <laughs> and I did it off camera because I noticed on this section I didn't do my um, castor oil. So I did it off camera. <laughs> I just did it just like I did the first time. But yeah, I'm, I probably, once I do my at-home silk press, I'm going to go ahead and get my hair, uh, my ends trimmed. That way I can go ahead and start my heatless journey and we can really see the transformation of my hair. So I'm excited to see that. So I'm probably going to do like a lot of wigs, uh, <laughs> a lot of twist outs, a lot of perm rod sets, um, flexi rod sets, things like that. So stay tuned for that. And I'm just finishing up. Um, by rolling the rest of my hair and you just want to roll your hair whatever way you want your curls to fall um, if you're friends with me on social media usually I have like a side part um, but this time I wanted the um, curls to fall forward again because people really like that style so I wanted to really demonstrate how I did that style so I'll do one with the side part because um, trust me you will see these perm ride videos again if you get tired just say Renee okay we get it but I love my perm ride sets so I'll do smaller ones next time and I'm going to show y'all the jumbo perm ride sets because I mean as you can see my hair is very um, <laughs> uneven and it's not the prettiest when it's not combed but you'll see my takedown and it's like sleek and so these these rollers are really good and I let this air dry I do not get under the dryer so if you are doing this the night before and need to wake up early you may want to give your hair a jump start and sit under the dryer for maybe 20 30 minutes but I'm working from home and I don't need it out until almost 20 hours <laughs> so I'm gonna just leave my rollers in because I'm not leaving the house anyway so definitely if you need to get up early in the morning and your hair takes a while to dry then just um, give your hair a jump start and send it to the dryer for uh, about 20-30 minutes and they have the bonnet dryers on Amazon which is what I have Okay, y'all, so um, I am taking my hair down. I'm doing this from my phone because I was, like, getting ready for girls' night. And I was going to do my makeup, but I'm just like, no, I want this to be uh, specifically about the hair. Um, so you'll see that I am going to um, oil my hands with that Moroccan Sleek um, Oil by Garnier Nutrice or whatever they're called. I'm, I'm Garnier Fructis. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the description box but I, you always want to make sure your hands are good and oiled and you see I'm winding it the opposite direction of the way you rolled it and as you can see my hair is so shiny and moisturized like when I say it is so moisturized I if I keep this up for a week and a half I will not add more oil to my hair of course um, the oil will leave as the days go by but not to where I'll need to put more oil because we made sure that we moisturize it, you know, really well when we rolled it. So it really locked it in. So the key is when you're rolling your hair, you want to add some type of oil, some type of cream, okay, to seal it in. So that's my rule. And I use a, a, a foam. So a cream, a oil, and a foam. And your curls should come out like this. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and you see you just keep unwinding it and you un you do it in an opposite of direction that your roller went so and you see how much body they have like I'm barely moving my head and <laughs> they just bouncing everywhere <laughs> and I think this is why this is my favorite heatless style because it like it's so fail proof and my hair still has body Okay, I'm gonna speed it up, and I'm talking because I was gonna do, <laughs> I, I was gonna do, uh, um, talk directly to 
you know, not do a voiceover on this part, but y'all, I talk too much. So I decided to speed this up <laughs> and I keep forgetting to look at the right side of the camera because I'm using my phone instead of my um, actual camera. So yeah, I'm just finishing up and unwinding and then we'll get into the fun part, which is picking it apart. And so I'm getting to my last little few rollers, but y'all, do y'all see these curls? Like you cannot mess this up, like at all. And if you see like that one, it got caught. So just hold it and then unwind because you don't want it to come apart. And that's where your frizz comes in at. Okay. See, I talk, I talking to y'all too much. Y'all know how long this video would have been had I not sped it up. It's already long enough. I think this is a 30 minute video. <laughs> so. We have all of them out, so now we gotta put some more oil on our hand because we definitely don't want it dry on this part. And so depending on how big you want your hair, um, you just take them and you break them apart. And you see when I do the end, I just keep winding it around my finger. Uh, this style I want kind of big because I'm going to redo uh, my hair, because well, not redo this, but <laughs> I have to um, do another video for the at home silk press um, in a few days so I'm, I'm gonna just make this one kind of big because it doesn't need to last as long as when I do my other sets on and I want them to last longer so you'll see that I am just fluffing it out and you always want to pay very close attention to your ends um, because like I say, you don't want to cause that frizz, especially when it's new. Like it's going to automatically become frizzy as the days go by. Um, but I put it up in a pineapple. That's what I'm, I'm I was explaining, but child. <laughs> I put it up in a pineapple at night and tie a scarf around it and then just put my oversized bonnet on. Yeah, I can't stress this enough. Always remember to add oil to your hand. So you saw how I just added more when I feel it getting dry. Um, that will make or break the style. So just please keep your your hands moisturized when when touching your curls and breaking them apart because you 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 definitely don't want that frizz. Child, that is not cute. Only when it's getting old. But a fresh fresh curls, you want them popping and juicy. Okay. <laughs> So this is even cute like this y'all like I love and then you just take your pick and you uh, you don't comb it all the way through you're just basically lifting your roots that's it you see I'm not pulling it all the way through and so you're doing this for volume and so yeah you just basically lift it through now I'm gonna get my bobby pins oh no I'm not I'm getting my jams edge uh, control because I don't like hard edge control so I like this because it's kind of soft um, for me and it does the trick like but 
my hair is not really real real coarse so whatever you need to do um that works for your hair use that but the reason i like this oh sorry my phone fell oh y'all guess what it got uh <laughs> one of my eyelashes my old eyelashes got stuck at the bottom of my phone and this is what my phone kept sliding on <laughs> sorry <laughs> clean Okay, so now I'm just taking my edge control um, comb slash brush and I use that um, to comb my hair up because I don't like using a regular size brush or comb because I don't want it to get caught on my curls. Um, so this just makes it a lot easier to keep my hair looking fresh. And so you'll see um, I'm just putting bobby pins in it. I use the closed ones, not the open ones. And you'll see me, um, sometimes I twist my hair to kind of provide an anchor for it because um, sometimes those things don't don't stay in place for me. So I have to twist my hair and provide some type of anchor for them to um, stay in place. But this here is even a style, y'all. So you can actually just leave it like one side up, one side down. That's cute. I've done that before. <laughs> It just depend on you know what type of day I'm having so on this side I'm just gonna put my other side up so it can really fall in my face Y'all, I was talking entirely too much. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm the only girl in this house, so <laughs> I think when I be editing, when I do these videos, I be really feeling like I had company. <laughs> but yeah, voiceovers it is for these videos like this, unless it's a very short demonstration. <laughs> and so yeah, you just manipulate it however you want to to get it, you know, what however it needs to frame your face whatever feels good to you you know do it to the feel right and i'm just you know fluffing out more curls so it gets to look the way i want it to She cute. Oh, she cute. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is it. This is the style. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share because Sharon is caring. I'm about to get dressed because I'm super late. Uh, but thank y'all for joining me. Let me know any other styles that you want me to, you know, show you. I'm not a professional, but your girl do do her own hair, so <laughs> I'll try. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is a style. Let me know if you like it. If you do it, like, comment. I mean, like, comment and let me know if you try it and how it works out for you. Love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.